Deputies say it could be the biggest meth bust in Polk County history. News 13's Ashley Searles is streaming live tonight outside the house where it happened. And Ashley, officers finally cleared the scene this morning. That's right. They showed up here around this time yesterday. And what officers saw when they walked in that front door put this operation on hold for hours. Uh, see that red barn there? Yeah. The house sits behind that tall tree about 200 yards from Johnny Joyne's home. A half a dozen squad cars pulled up, two ambulances. Firefighter Jim Taranjo pulled up. He lives just down the road. Surprising, yeah, because it's not normally something you see around in this close-knit close neighborhood, because um, those people weren't local. They just moved into the area. Deputies arrived at 315 Scoggins Road in Green Creek yesterday to serve a search warrant. Upon entry into the residence, um, I discovered um, an active meth lab. Um, at that point, uh, that point they backed out. The home was contaminated and with a meth lab still smoking as 38-year-old Billy Carr and 50-year-old Harold Bailey came out of the house, they were also tainted with the toxic fumes, were stripped and hosed down. You have to go through the decontamination process. They're not going to come into my building. And I have seen meth labs explode and it tears the whole roof off a house. Officers and SBI teams waited outside for hours for a chemist to arrive so they could process the scene. There was stuff everywhere. That stuff was across the whole yard out the yard and all. Fifteen meth labs seized in all, making it potentially the biggest operation ever busted in the county, and so one of the most dangerous. In a full gear, mask and everything, stand by with the hose right outside the front door in case something catastrophic happens. It's sad that somebody would set up a... Or, uh, operation like this right here in, in our community did. Officials say more people could be charged in connection with this case. Tonight, Carr and Bailey are both behind bars, both from Spartanburg, both facing charges of meth possession and manufacturing. Reporting live tonight in Polk County, Ashley Searles, News 13.